Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I will be deriving a few more common uh, formulae that you'll be using throughout trigonometry, and this is a continuation of the video that was published just before this. And so before I actually begin deriving those formulae, I will try and look at what happens when you increment the value in the sine sine or the any, any trigonometric function per general by multiples or say some multiples of, multiples of pi so suppose as an example i want to find out what happens when uh, you increment this value of theta say by pi right so you can easily calculate this by the compound angle formula that is you can say sine theta cos pi plus uh, cos theta sine pi and then you can get the value but uh, I feel that that's not really very intuitive, like it's just plugging in a formula and not actually knowing what happens, right? So here I've uh, drawn the unit circle, which at first glance may seem a bit, uh, well, uh, messy, but I assure you that I'll try and uh, make sense of it. So first we begin at this angle theta that has been subtended over here. This is unit circle, so the radius is obviously 1. So sine theta would actually just be equal to y over here, right? So let me just write these things over here. So I can write sine theta is equal to y, uh, cos theta is equal to x, and uh, tan theta is equal to y by x. You could also in general uh, say cosec theta, sec theta, and cot theta, but uh, I'll leave that up to you. So what I first want to look at is what happens, uh, say, when I try and find uh, sine of pi minus theta. Now remember the problem that arises over here is that these angles are usually larger than pi by 2. So this means that the, you can't simply put them in a triangle and try to find the value because the maximum angle that can be subtained in a right angle triangle is something lesser than pi by 2, right? Because you have pi by 2 over here. So these angles, can, maximum value of these angles can be lesser than or equal to pi by 2. Not equal to, well, lesser than pi by 2. So yeah, we have to so our aim over here is to try and find out these values in terms of angles that are less than pi by 2 and then uh, try and evaluate this all right suppose i wanted to find sine of pi minus theta i can go pi radius around the unit circle and then i'll have to go theta radians back so what i've done over here is i've made a congruent triangle but except uh, they're only different in the fact that this triangle is actually on the other side of the axis and this angle is actually clockwise but that doesn't really matter over here so we clearly see that um, when we go around the circle like this and go back we have a congruent triangle so the values would also be the same right because we have y over here and this would also be y and we have see suppose this length x over here this would also be length x however this is in the other direction that is this is along the negative x axis so this length over here would actually be equal to minus x. So suppose I wanted to find sine of pi minus theta, that would be nothing but say sine theta in this triangle. So that is just y. So that is nothing but y. And this is just equal to sine theta. Similarly, if I wanted to find cos of pi minus theta, you would see that this would actually be equal to minus x, right? So this would actually turn out to be minus cos theta and similarly tan of uh, say pi minus theta would actually be equal to minus phi by x it should be equal to minus tan theta but what if you were say adding the angle theta right so suppose if you're adding the angle theta again i've drawn another congruent triangle all right so when uh, we have this triangle over here we actually see that sine of theta plus pi is nothing but minus y and we know that sine theta itself is equal to y right so we can write that sine of theta plus pi is actually equal to minus sine theta now similarly if you look at the triangle this triangle over here you see that the cos of pi plus theta or theta plus pi is nothing but minus x right this over here is a minus x and you know that cos theta itself is actually x so we can write a cos of theta plus pi is equal to minus cos theta now lastly tan theta 
is actually tan theta is just y by x however we have both minus y and minus x over here right so tan of theta plus y is actually equal to y by x because the negatives cancel out and we see that tan of theta plus y is actually equal to tan theta itself and the same also follows for cosec right so this is minus tan theta over here so the cosec theta would also be negative and sec theta would also be negative and cos cot theta would also be negative uh, so now oh, we looked at what happened when we added c pi to an angle and then we took the trigonometric ratio of that but let's now look at uh, what will happen when you add say pi by 2 right in that case we want to get congruent triangles so we'll have to well work around and try to see what we can get so over here you can see for the purpose of that i've drawn uh, a triangle that has an angle that is pi by 2 minus theta so suppose we know that uh, sine of pi minus theta is equal to sine theta itself right so theta in this case is going to be pi by 2 minus theta so if i try to find that i know that a sine of say pi see because what are you going to do what we actually want is when we add say pi by 2 to some angle because we already know what will happen for in the case of pi by 2 minus theta as we saw in the previous video so when we add uh, say pi and then we subtract uh, pi by 2 minus theta we'll actually get a sine of pi by 2 plus theta so this is actually what we want over here right this expression is what we are want over here so for that we'll have to calculate the value of this so first so first we'll have to try and evaluate what this value over here is right so we're actually going pi radians in this direction and then we're coming back up pi by 2 minus theta radians so this is nothing but uh, the value that you'll get in this triangle okay and uh, so let's try and think of what that could be so sine of uh, pi by 2 minus theta like we saw in the previous video says nothing but cos theta so what actually happens is since sine theta is equal to y in this triangle in this triangle sine of pi by 2 minus theta will actually be equal to cos theta which is equal to x so this side over here will actually be equal to x and the magnitude of this side over here will actually be equal to y which i've written over there but remember because this is in this direction since this is going towards the negative x-axis the magnet the actual coordinate of this point is actually minus y but since this is in the positive direction this doesn't actually matter this will remain uh, positive only so we know that uh, so for this value this value over here is actually sine of pi by 2 minus theta and that we actually saw was cos theta so we have yet another relation that is sine of pi by 2 plus theta is equal to cos theta that is the trigonometric function changes when you add a pi by 2 to its angle but in the case of when we just added pi we saw that the function didn't change moreover now if you try to find cos theta in this case this will be cos of pi by 2 minus theta which is actually equal to minus y so suppose uh, cos of uh, say pi by 2 minus theta so that's that will actually be equal to sine theta okay let me step back a little bit over here uh, so over here you want to find the cos of pi minus minus theta right all right so we just we just have to find cos of pi by 2 minus theta and that will actually be equal to cos of pi by 2 plus theta okay uh, i'm just squeezing a bit over there and so we from this triangle we actually see that cos of pi by 2 minus, minus theta is actually equal to minus y and that is nothing but minus sine theta right because y is equal to sine theta so we can actually say minus sine theta is equal to cos of pi by 2 plus theta so note i'm just like deriving results over here after a while i'll give a brief summary of what just happened over here and similarly if you'll try that for the tan function you'll actually see that the function will change to cot and when you add pi by 2 the function will actually be minus cot theta so tan of pi by 2 plus theta will be equal to minus uh, uh, cot theta and vice versa similarly if you try that with cosec it will turn to sec and uh, become minus over here but as to why it's minus and why it's plus and where, as to how you can easily tell why it is when it is minus and when it is plus is something that we'll be discussing shortly similarly if you try that with 3 pi by 2 plus theta you can do the same thing but with 2 pi, 2, 2 pi minus theta 
and you can construct congruent triangles and you'll see that this is actually the same thing and you'll find you'll find general results but generally speaking how do you determine whether a function is positive or negative uh, but before that uh, let's look at what happens when you go for an angle that is greater than 2 pi or when you add an angle that is exactly equal to 2 pi all right so when you add an uh, angle that is exactly equal to 2 pi you're actually going around the circle once right so, so if i added say sine of pi plus sine of 2 pi plus theta this would mean that i was at the here at the beginning then i went all the way around the circle until i completed the 2 pi revolution and i saw that i came back to the same point so what this actually means is sine or for or for that matter any other any trigonometric function that is when you add say 2 pi plus theta that will be equal to sine theta and there's no sine change in this case this will be same for all trigonometric functions no matter what that is because you're coming back to the exact same point each time and in fact more generally that is if you keep making the revolutions of 2 pi 2 pi we can say that sine of 2 and pi plus theta and again this applies to all trigonometric functions is equal to sine theta because 2 pi actually means a complete revolution around the unit circle and by doing that you come back to the same point so obviously the ratio will be the same again so suppose if you have 4 pi that will actually mean two revolutions it will come back to the same point so what i have derived generally over here for particular values of pi will also be satisfied for values that are greater than say 2 pi so suppose in this case i had theta plus 3 pi first i would write this as theta plus 2 pi plus pi and then i could just simply write this as theta plus pi similarly in this case suppose i had 5 pi by 2 minus theta right so i no i mean in this case over here sorry suppose i had a sine of pi by 2 plus theta i could write that as pi by 2 plus 2 pi plus theta and using this property i could write this as sine of pi by 2 plus theta and then i could drive it generally so that's what happens when you go around the unit circle but generally speaking what if you wanted to know in which quadrants uh, a particular function was positive or negative right so for that you just need to look at what the values of these coordinates will be that is whether they will be positive or negative so for sine you see that uh, the y coordinate that is the actual value that it depends on because sine theta is simply the y coordinate we need to know from in what particular range of angles is it positive right so we see that whenever the angle or the, the radius is above this line over here we see that y will be positive right because it will have a positive y coordinate and whether it is from over here to here it will be negative so we can say that sine theta is positive whenever we are in the range of zero to pi and that also applies to whenever you add so you can say that uh, sine theta is positive from 2 pi to 3 pi sine theta is uh, positive from say 4 pi to 5 pi but generally speaking when we talk about the principal range we say that uh, sine theta is positive from 0 to pi in this range over here now if you wanted to talk about cos theta we could see that uh, we just want to, we have to find out where exactly is this x coordinate positive so we see that whenever the angle is in this region over here the x coordinate is positive right so since cos theta is simply equal to x this is x over here we know we know that it is going to be positive so suppose for angles you can say from 0 to pi by 2 that is from 0 to 90 degree and in this range it is not positive and from over to here to here is positive and this angle over here is actually 3 pi by 2 so we can say that from 0 to pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi cos theta will be positive and uh, you could also say, check it for tan theta now for tan theta you have to check when y by x is positive so either both y and x have to be positive or both y and x have to be negative and for that condition you have the first quadrant and the third quadrant so tan theta is positive from 0 to pi by 2 and it is also positive from uh, say pi to 3 pi by 2 and the same follows for say cosec theta cosec theta will be positive from this in this region because it's just nothing but 1 by sin theta and for the other functions as well so there is a pretty fun acronym that can be used to memorize this i mean you have seen the logic so so the acronym is not necessary but that's something that uh, i mean it's kind of funny so you can say all functions are positive over here because 
everything is positive in this place both the y and x are positive and then you can say s that is only sine and cosec are positive and then over here only tan and cot are positive and over here only cos and cosec are positive so an acronym that i have used is uh, all uh, school to college and i've heard other acronyms as well so you can use them if you want but i guess it's pretty self-evident why they are positive and why they're negative so with that uh, short summary out of the way let's uh, move on to actually deriving the formula all right so while editing i realized that uh, this video actually got a bit too long so i decided to cut it into two more parts just the, so that it's actually a three part series i guess so this was the first of the two parts and i'll be posting the second part shortly so keep waiting for that i guess and thank you for watching that will be it for today